I presume that you are John Arryn's men. The Lord Commander spoke to me about you. Indeed, I am the Knight Godric Donnelly, and this is my Lieutenant, Jared. And you must be Sir Mors Westford. Indeed. John Arryn described you as one of the true heroes of the Battle of Stag's Mount. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. I knew someone named Mors Westford at one time, during the Baratheon Rebellion. A real son of a bitch, who I hold directly responsible for the death of my brother. I wouldn't have expected to find him at the Wall. Hold your tongue, Jared. We're in Night's Watch territory here. Whatever our past quarrels, we're on a mission here. Please excuse this interruption, Sir Westford. If you have read the letter, you must already know our reason for being here. Indeed. I heard that John Arryn had fallen ill recently. How does he fare? It has been some time since we left King's Landing to come north to the Wall. No news has reached our ears since then. Nonetheless, knowing the Lord of the Eyrie, it is probably nothing. He has an iron constitution. Everyone knows that. I just hope that he has not aged too much. Very well. I believe I know where the girl is. The one John Arryn speaks of in his letter. Perfect. I knew we could count on you. Lord Arryn only gives his trust to men of great worth. Then tell me, sir, where is she? What do you plan on doing when you have found her? She must be protected. I am sorry, but I'm under strict orders. I cannot speak of our destination. As long as you take her far from here, Castle Black is not exactly an ideal place for a young maid. According to the information given in the letter, there is no doubt about where the girl is. She is hiding in Molestown. In Molestown? The village we passed along the King's Road? Yes. To protect themselves from the constant cold outside, the inhabitants have built an underground passage. I will lead us there. We will no doubt find her there. Strangers are seldom seen in these parts. We'll ask the villagers about her. Very well. Let us get on our way. Hold on. I just received a raven with a message from King's Landing. Dark wings. Dark words. What is it? Let's go outside, Moors. I don't wish to speak of this in the common hall. What's going on, Jor? Hmm. Very well. The King's Hand, John Arryn, is dead. Why didn't you break it to me so more subtly? Why didn't we go outside? <laughs> All right, back to Halster. King's Landing. All right, we are back at this dude. Hello, my lord. Oh, would you be Lord Sarwick? Say, have you got anything for old Ren? Just a coin for a wounded veteran. I do not remember you, old man. How do you know my name? I worked at Riverspring back in the day, my lord. With all due respect, you've gotten a few wrinkles, but you've not changed much. It has been years since I last set foot in the capital. Any news of late? A lord like you must be interested in the Red Keep. It's up there, on Aegon's High Hill. It's there where you'll find King Robert and his Queen Lannister, and all of their court and their knights. It's there that anything of import occurs. The rest of the city is for the small folk. You've got craftsmen, the best in the realm, and whores, also the best. <laughs> <laughs> you can find just about 
everything you want in King's Landing. Hmm. You say you know the people of my house. Do you know my brother? I have come here to see him. No, my lord. I've never seen him in the flesh. It's his people that we know. Especially Hub, the groom. He comes to the taverns to throw back a few pints. And then he talks. He told us that Lord Garwin returned there not long ago to visit his father. And now... Lord Sharwick is dead. There are rumors that your brother is back in town. There's no way to be sure, because Hub has not shown his face in a while. You would almost think the man had lost his thirst for ale. I know enough. Here for your troubles. May you walk in the light of Relore. May the Seven watch over you, my lord. Okay, okay. I lost one coin. Fires, latrines, and the tide as well. How could I forget such a bouquet? There he is, Axe. Just like I said. Good job. I'll take care of him. Think you're going somewhere, pretty boy? I see that the cutthroat business continues to flourish. You're not just talking to any old bandits here. We're called the Reapers. Now, Lord Sarwick will come with us quietly. I can be very unpleasant when there's too much noise. If you know who I am, then you know that I am of a noble family. If anything happens to me, the watch will be on your tail for the rest of your miserable lives. That seems a large price to pay for a bounty. Don't worry about us. Once we've gotten the bounty, we'll have more than enough to pay off the city watch. What reward are you talking about? You are kin to Garwan Sarwick, are you not? A man worth a hundred gold dragons. It's his bloody brother, I tell you. He has to know. Who would put a bounty of a hundred gold dragons on my brother's head? That's madness! Twas the watch, pretty boy, and none other. Your brother is accused of killing Lord Sarwick of Riverspring. A damn kinslayer. I still fail to understand the link between the reward for my brother and me. No one has put a bounty on my head as far as I know. Perhaps. But you must know where he is. If you don't want to tell us, we'll spread the word that we beat you to a pulp. So your brother will show his face, and then we'll have him. Perhaps under other circumstances it would have been a good plan. But you shouldn't stake too much on it. And why is that? I came to King's Landing to find my murdering brother and to wreak our family's vengeance upon him. Do you truly believe he would come out of hiding to help me? I highly doubt it. Hmm. Shit. Wait, Axe, you're not going to let him get away like that. I'm the one who led him to you. What about my share? Shut it, you old bag of bones. You've caught us a lean hair here. He won't give us a thing. Luck is with you today, pretty boy. We'll let you continue on your way. I'm gonna kill that old Ren guy. Where is he? You can spare Come back here! Yeah, you I better run. Home. You. So, you were their lookout, were you? Now that they're gone, you're all alone. And you will suffer the consequences of your actions. But please! Oh, please, my lord. I had no choice. Enough. I will not be swayed by your lies. Oh, mercy. Believe me that I'm ashamed, my lord. You were so good to me. I beg of you, take pity on an old man. With me frail hands made useless by my illness, I can no longer work. When I see a chance to earn a little coin, how can I pass it up? Oh, God. I should really kill him, shouldn't I? Another man would have slit your throat for less. Now disappear. Oh, my thanks, my lord. Many thanks. I'm way too nice of a guy.
keep heading this direction, I guess. Can I climb ladders? Highly doubt it. The Sarwick residence is not far from here. What's going on here? It's the man of the watch. They've come to get Sarwick. Ah! The one with the price on his head. Death to the Kinslayer! Ah! 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 We only found the servants, Lord Wex. Do you jest? There was no one else? No, my lord. Gowan is not here, Sir Velar. I'm searching for your master, Garwin Sawi. You won't save him, but you can still save yourself. Tell me where he is. We don't know where he is. He's not been here for months. Take him to the Red Keep. No! I haven't done anything! I know nothing! Let me go! Lambert, no! Leave him be! Please, sir! My lord, mercy! My husband is a good man and loyal to the crown. He knows nothing! Audio cutting in and out kind Sir, of annoying. The crowd is restless. Let them be restless. Wex, have this residence watched. I'll let you know if I manage to drag anything out of his lack. Fala. Mm -hmm. 